Hey guys, so after one of my most recent videos, bow fishing catfish, so many of you guys have been asking me to do more catch and cook videos. So I thought what better time to do another one than right now. So what's gonna happen is I'm actually gonna go up the creek, make a primitive spear out of just materials I can find up here, hunt these fish, which is hopefully a big eel, cook them and eat them. So that's the plan. I'm gonna need some luck. So smash that thumbs up button just down there. Let's go. All right guys, so just behind us right here is the perfect material to make our spear out of. It's actually called bamboo and it's so good because it's really lightweight, easy to throw and everything like that. And I've just got my eye on this piece just down here. You can see that's the perfect thickness. It'll be heavy enough so it could pierce into a fish and everything. So we're just going to chop this guy down and I'll show you how to make a spear. Okay, so here we are down the creek ready to finish off the spear but before you start actually making the spear what you need to do is basically clean it up by actually just taking off all of these rugged edges and stuff and cutting it to the length that you want it to be I'm probably gonna have the length at about maybe that high I'm not too sure yet I'll see what happens but yeah so what you want to do is just start chopping off this stuff Okay, so what you want to do next is now that we've got the spear looking pretty good, cut off all those bits, and while well, I've got it to the right height, what you want to do is just split it four ways, one in the middle, just like this. Okay, so now we just have to split it the other way, so I reckon that's about in the middle. Just tap it in a bit, and then get your rock and just start hitting it down in, just like that. Okay, so now that we've actually split this into four, what you need to do is just get a bamboo stick, we've just got this little one, and pull the things apart with the knife and just wedge it right down in there. Get it, make sure it's even, and just tap it just down in. So the prongs, so they just come apart and it'll be easier to sharpen them. Okay, so that's pretty, looking pretty good. Then we'll do it to the other one too. Just like that and you can see if you sharpen off that that'll be a really nice spear okay so we just finished sharpening the spear just um, sharpen off the ends you can see they're pretty sharp that would pierce a needle definitely um, and there's one more thing that you need to do to actually just secure up the spear is you can just go down and these plants are actually called mat rush but you can get, use all different types of plants I normally just cut, up, cut them off at the bottom split them to the top all the way down just like that put it in half so you can see it's folded in half and then at the end here you just make a little loop in it just like that so you can see like that after that you s just twist the rope fold it over then go to the other piece twist it fold it over and you just continue that all the way down and it will end up making a piece of rope that you can wrap around the spear to make it strong. You can see that starting to look really good just right there. Okay so I've just made a longer piece of rope you can see it looks pretty cool and now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna wrap it in and around all this area just so it um, makes the spear a bit more secure so these sticks won't come out or anything like that. So we'll just wrap it in and around basically everywhere along the spear just like this and then when it comes to the end I'll just simply make sure it's tight yep that's good and just tie it off okay so as you can see we've made a spear from all natural materials we've got some bamboo some more little pieces of bamboo and some vine that we made out of just materials that you can find down the creek like these little plants and that's just so cool hopefully I'll be able to show you how to actually spear a fish with this spear so wish me luck let's go So after figuring out that throwing the spear wasn't the best option, I decided to try a different technique. Big Eel Dad, stop filming, stop filming. He's just cruising just down here. That's big. I wonder if my spear can handle it. 
He's making a run for it. I got one. Look how big that is. You need to prepare him to shallow water so he doesn't get away. That is so cool. But now, I'm gonna teach you how to cook this guy. Let's go. Okay, so that was just amazing. I'm so surprised. I wasn't expecting to get one, especially one that was that big. And well now, now that I've speared him, I'm gonna show you how to fillet him or fillet him. I'm not sure how you wanna say it. Cook him and eat him. Okay, so what we're gonna do first is we're just gonna cut a huge fillet off this eel because that's what we're gonna actually throw into the fire. So what we do first is if you just come in here, slice right off the spine all the way up and you can see it's starting to be a really nice fillet or fillet coming off right there okay so I reckon that is about what I'm gonna eat just for now so I'm gonna just cut this off and eat the rest later so if we can just go like this probably cut it just into two fillets because that's what I'll eat just now you can see there two really really meat filled fillets just there okay so if I'm ever gonna actually cook something out in the bush I always bring a bit of owl foil so I can just chuck it straight in the fire so what we're gonna do is just lay it right in there and fold it up into the owl foil and throw it straight in the fire we're not doing anything fancy this time no herbs spices anything like that just straight in the fire and we'll see how it tastes and what we're going to do now is we're actually, I just got this flint and what, it, what it's actually used for, so you can just go like that and make a bit of a spark so it can light a fire. So that's the plan. And we've just got all this stuff, so if you come in right here, it's getting just in there. Okay, so the flint's just worked and what we're going to do is we just need to put some of this little kindling just on top, so hopefully that lights. Okay, so the idea is basically to get the fire as hot as possible so that the coals will be really nice and hot when we put the fillets in. Okay, so we're just gonna drop these fillets in right into the coals there, because they're really hot. It's really hot even being right here. So we'll just drop them in, just like that. And then I'll grab this stick and get all the other coals right on top of them. Okay, so it's been about 15, 20 minutes. The eel is 100% ready. So what we're gonna do now is take it out and give it a bit of a taste test. So here we go. We'll just flick it out. Where's the other one? There it is. Oh, better. Okay, that's out. Oh, that looks really good. If you come in here, have a look at that. Oh, it's all glazed on the top. So hopefully, it tastes as good as it looks. Let's give it a taste test. Hmm, that's pretty good. I definitely have to say, you'll tell catfish is better, but this is good. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it because it was so fun. And just like my bow fishing catfish video, um, I've decided to do another competition. But this time, instead of giving away some hats, I'm actually going to be giving away a $150 fishing rod, which is really cool. They're the ones that I use. They're one of my favorite fishing rods ever to use. They're really cool. And I've also decided to do a second and third prize for this competition, which is actually going to be a little tackle box that just sets you up for fishing you can catch all different types of fish which is so cool they're really good and all you have to do to actually enter this competition is subscribe to my channel like this video and leave a comment down below on why you think you should win this competition so good luck and lastly I just wanted to thank every single subscriber the new ones and the ones that have been here from the beginning I just love you guys so much and um, I'll definitely keep up with the videos I'm gonna be trying to post them as much as possible and I just thank you so much let's go